on any search engine like Google mm-hmm. is the basic price of the okay. phone or any product, right? And every store, Amazon, Flipkart, Chroma, Reliance, all of these stores have tie-ups with banks to run bank offers on these products across all these stores. All we are trying to do is bring more transparency to the process. The product that we have envisioned is a very complex product. Uh, in fact, we have a provisional patent on the algorithm. I would say a uh, startup is very similar to planning the journey, planning a journey to an unknown destination. Hello guys, welcome to the Startup Tales. I'm Akila, Chartered Accountant by profession and uh, we are creating a content out of my passion. So here uh, we visit a lot of clients as a part of our profession. So uh, as a part of that, we uh, know the client places, what are their businesses, what is their pricing strategy. So we know more about their businesses. So why can't we do the same thing on a larger scale? Because I am pretty sure that all of you also are very interested to know more about the new startups that are coming in India. So why can't we get it here in a video format? So let's have a conversation with one of our new startup founder, which is none other than Mr. Shiv Shankar. Uh, he is a co-founder and CEO of Priswis. Priswis is a fintech retail startup, which is a mobile app and also a website, which which maximizes your savings and also uh, it's a, it gives a great shopping experience as well. So their motto is why shop at uh, MRP by when you can shop it at YRP. So your real price. More about your career and also personal as well as your professional journey in your own words. Yeah. So uh, I have spent my entire uh, career in sales and marketing. Oh, uh, I had one of the most rewarding careers, I should say. I was working with a company named Swage Lot, okay. um, where I started in Bangalore and mm-hmm. then uh, they took me all over India. Uh, they and I, I got to travel around the world, meet customers from around the oh, world that's great. and solve problems for them. Um, lastly, I was based in the US in their headquarters oh. uh, for four years before uh, moving back to India and uh, doing something of my own. That's how Prisvis uh, started. It's great, great. So how did you identify this as a problem? Like what is the problem statement that you have identified? I uh, mean, what's your motivation to start this? Yeah, so um, it is very interesting. Uh, when I returned from US, uh, okay. I was trying to set up my home and I was okay. trying to buy many things. Okay. And uh, we had the challenge that when we want to buy some stuff for our homes, mm-hmm. it is always a complex process. You have to do a lot of research, research. you have to try to figure out True. where you can find the best price for any product you want. And there was not one tool available that mm-hmm. could simplify it for you. Right? You'll have to go through multiple different channels, channels, get multiple different pieces of information, put them all together yeah. and then figure it out. It's so a time consuming task. It is heavily time consuming. Plus, whatever you try to do, mm-hmm. end the end of it, you still don't know if that price is really meant for you. If you've got the best price of all. And uh, this is the problem I discussed with uh, my co-founder, Pradeep mm-hmm. Venkat, who is also in the same apartment. He's my neighbor. That's great. And we kind of shared the same experience and we thought we should solve this for everyone. I mean, uh, well, probably most people are going through the same experience and if we could solve it, it would really be beneficial for them to both uh, save time as well as money. And that's how Chris was, uh, was born. I mean, in Google, there is already like if I want to buy something, there will be separate. If I search something, if I want to buy, I can already, I can also see all the uh, prices which I can suppose uh, if I want to buy iPhone 13, I'll search it in Google and I can see different like what is the price in Amazon, what is the price in Flipkart. I mean, I can see all the prices over there. Right. So why, how is it different from your, your app? Like why should we install this? I yeah. mean, why, how is it different from this? Yeah, great question. The price that you see on any search engine like Google mm-hmm. is the basic price of the okay. phone or any product, right? And every store, Amazon, Flipkart, Chroma, Reliance, all of these stores have tie-ups with banks to run bank offers on these products across all these stores. Okay. And again, the bank offers are also not very straightforward. Okay, it could be, they could say 10% off, mm-hmm. but up to 500. And there could be some terms and conditions within it as well. Okay. So it is not very clear for a user to figure that out. What our app does is basically it combines the store prices that you get from Google okay. or even mm-hmm, from Amazon, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Card, yeah, yeah. merges that with bank offers that are running across all these different stores okay. and then presents a price that is personalized to the user. 
so basically uh, i in google i can search only the prices in different uh, apps but i don't know like what uh, with the cards which i'm owning what are the uh, which is the best price which i could get exactly so that is what your real price is meant for right exactly and that's the your real price you caught yeah. it very well yeah. because the price that we are showing is unique to that individual to that user mm -hmm. based on the cards they hold and similarly if somebody else comes to the app they will get a price which is meant for them and that's how your real price was coined okay so if, suppose if i don't own a particular card uh, like oh, if i don't own a particular card then i might get it from my friends as well right exactly. so is it necessary that i should own a card to show in your app the discounts and all yeah great question so in the app we show two critical pieces of information okay one is any offers on cards that you are holding mm -hmm. now if you don't hold a card we are still showing you which is the best offer running in that store so that way just like you explained you could still talk to your friend or family and try right, to get right, that card, card and do the transaction True. and that is the value we are adding because now your decisions are very informed and you know exactly what are the price you can get that product at versus previously you do a transaction then you will find out that there was a discount, discount. available oh i miss that <laughs> and i miss that right so we are trying to solve that whole problem we are trying it. to avoid any losses from happening for the so user. it's like saving time and also saving your uh, money as money. well yeah. yeah so the app simplifies it the information is readily available you don't have to do any research otherwise you will have to spend 8 to 10 hours or even days trying to figure out which is the best price the app shows that instantly and now you're making a very confident decision so it saves both time and money as you rightly said yeah that's cool so do customers need to pay anything for using your app or uh, like uh, like for i using the services is a subscription or something or how it is how you know it is completely free right oh, it is completely great. free at the moment uh, however we are talking to customers to understand okay. if uh, they would pay for such a service now i would like to ask you yourself okay. do you see value coming through from this app and do you see yourself paying for such a service yeah i mean sometimes what i do is i miss on the offers because if i don't have a time i just place an order and i don't have time to get through all run all those things right what are the offers going on each and every yeah. bank and all right so and also i have to i don't have time to check in each and every website either flipkart amazon and not just flipkart amazon there are other apps like chroma reliance digital so I don't have time to each check each and every uh, app and also each and every bank offer. So I think this would make sense. Yeah, it's better to pay some one hundred to hundred. I mean, affordable if at some cheaper price than uh, losing some for like thousands of money uh, for pay by paying lots of money over there. Exactly, that's the point. So we are saving so much value, so much money for the user and time that you know we are, that is the feedback we are collecting from users and. most of the feedback is positive just like you said oh, okay that's yeah. great that's great uh, so like what is your like uh, like do we need to insert a, or i mean put our credit card to information in your app uh, like uh, is it or uh, do we need to give the full number or do we need to give uh, the complete information is it necessary is what i my question is yeah great question again and how you are going to is it is it safe because credit card information is very sensitive information so is it safe to provide my credit card complete information how we are going to keep it confidential and use it only for the genuine uh, purposes yeah great question uh, and we get this question very often from our users as well okay I mean, our app when we uh, initially started developing, we wanted to make sure that it is highly safe. Okay. So we don't store any user information which is sensitive in nature. So okay. even when it comes to credit cards, uh, there is a notion, misnotion that hey, uh, you know, the card number is very sensitive and it, you know people can misuse it. Right. In fact, in the card number as well, there are sixteen digits. The yes, first six is, digit is about bank. Is just the bank identification Name. number. It identifies. which is the bank what is the card type if it is credit card or debit card mm -hmm. that's it it doesn't give any other information the remaining 10 digit is the user specific information we don't collect that information at all all we do is we take the first six digits just to identify the card and the moment we identify the card we even delete the six digits just for our own uh, sanity mm -hmm. and we identify the card and store the card in the user's profile and based on that the algorithm then picks up the card and then personalizes the information to the user so it's completely safe to it's broad away it's very safe 
and even otherwise if you want to try the app without adding the card yeah yeah perfectly so it's fine. it's not necessary to add my card exactly. just to conclude right? yeah it's completely fine you still get to see which is the best offer running okay. in the store and there you can then make a call on Understood. if you want to reach out to your friend mm-hmm. family get that card or if you have the card use that card so that's the value we are adding okay got it that sounds great so what about your uh, revenue model like uh, so it's completely free to the customer so how you are going to survive like what's the revenue stream which you are having like how you going to create the revenue yeah, there are multiple ways uh, we can generate revenue so uh, initially we are purely focusing on affiliate uh, commission so basically when the user goes to a store and mm-hmm. does a transaction say we, he found a great price in uh, geomart he goes to geomart and completes the transaction we'll get a commission from the store Right. right for that okay. transaction and what we have also done is for that transaction we are rewarding the user so of the commission we pay a certain percentage to the user as a reward so that the user is also user should also feel good about using the app because they are installing right. the app they are trying the app and they should feel good about it they should be able to talk to their friends about it so that's how we are adding value so this acts as a additional discount to okay. what you already get from the app yeah but what if the customer just uh, click on the they, he'll just open the app he'll just check it out whether what are the prices and then he'll go to that particular amazon or flipkart or promo whatever it is he'll just go buy go and buy there so like how did you get to know uh, that this person has come here so he came to the amazon but only from by seeing it in prisvis app so what's the linkage you are having it over there yeah so when we we get to know which customer went to which store only when they click through the app okay. but when they come to the app and they take yeah, the yeah, it's they go directly, like yeah, yeah it is it is tough yeah. we, we cannot find that information but there again that's where the reward plays a key role because the reward is additional discount the user can get from prisvis from okay. the app if they go to the store directly they will not be able to get that reward so it acts as an additional discount for the user okay. and there is nothing the user has to lose here right because you're coming to the app you're getting the okay. clear information you're saving money there it you're just, also earning rewards and so it's double benefit okay. so so for the sake of rewards he'll just go and click there and uh, he can get extra amount of discount by using your app is so that is the reason why you have to exactly start. exactly cool so how we are prisvis is different unique i mean there are other aren't there other apps like who are the competitors which you are having like kind of you are dealing with those competitions yeah uh, another great question right. so we are first in the world oh. and the only one in the world to integrate even bank offers into the app and show it at a product level nobody does this today so as you mentioned earlier right we there are few websites where where you can go and check out uh, this thing like what are the pr- uh, prices running on different uh, this thing Right. So no, how this thing is unique. Yeah, uh, like, and the, they all they show is the basic price okay. that you can get from Google as well. Right? Right, Google right. will show you basic basic price right, of right. different stores, but they don't show information specific to you. So they don't show what are the offers running across all these stores, and how that can impact you, you as an individual. What is your final price that you are going to pay to get the product? Okay. That you will not be able to find out unless you spend hours doing the research. So that is the whole aspect, right? You can go right. to Google, you'll know different prices, mm-hmm. and pretty much, again, this is another interesting aspect we figured. The price of a product across different okay. uh, stores is pretty much similar. A mobile phone okay. will cost almost the same price across all the stores, and there are some government norms which dictate that. It is the bank offer that makes the biggest impact. Sure. And the user is not aware of that. User doesn't realize the card that they own. Uh-huh. to actually save, save money, money for them everybody is worried that are yaar if i have a credit card hmm. it's going to impact me i am i am i don't want to get into it if they use the credit card wisely credit card can actually save them money it is sure. not just a money spending tool it can save because banks are running so many different offers to attract users to attract users to their uh, bank right. and this is where the users are unaware and we are trying to create that financial literacy as well for the user saying hey here's a card that has so much discount for you on this particular product so why don't take advantage of it right and that's how we are so basically it. the unique thing is you are also providing the bank offers the discount as well in addition to different websites yes right. and we are doing that at a product level 
So you are you just restricting to your uh, products to different? Uh, I mean, this go Amazon, Flipkart, and Goma, Reliance, Reliance, or you have many more? Like how many stores you are being integrated with? So right now for launch, we have eight plus okay. nationwide shipping stores. So any store you see in the app can ship nationwide anywhere to any corner of India, right? Okay. Uh, and when you go to the store, you will apply your pin code, and the store will then tell you if that location is covered or not. Uh, so we are covering as many stores nationwide as possible. But our goal is to expand to offline as well. So okay. let's assume you are in Bangalore okay. and you are looking to buy a product, and there are local stores in Bangalore as well, which right. are selling the same product, but they are local. They don't have too much online presence. So if we can bring them onto the platform and show to them that. Hey, here's the here are the products. Here are the different stores, and you can now compete with the likes of Amazon and Flipkart mm -hmm. by just making sure you have a good pricing available for the user. And it will be immensely beneficial for the user because now the user has more options to choose from, yeah. which was not the case before. So we are enabling so many different things through our platform. That's great. It's a great. It's, it's a it's a game changer thing. Exactly. Well said. It's a game changer, and that's how we positioned it. We wanted to disrupt the space, and all we are trying to do is bring more transparency to the process. Right today, a user is making decisions without this information. Yeah, it's like informed decision that. you can take with the exactly. all the information providing in one platform. Exactly. So, are you just restricting yourself to laptops, mobiles, and uh, TVs for the time being, or you have a plan to extend yourself to the other zones as well? Yeah, so our plan is to expand this to the entire electronic segment. Okay. Plus, add home appliances to it. That would be great because these washing machines, fridges are of high costly appliances. Yeah, and there are other uh, uh, segments as well where we can add value. Where users are losing time and money because they don't have critical piece of information. Right. So that's our uh, roadmap. In our roadmap, we have uh, those other categories as well that we'll add mm -hmm. uh, as we go along. That would be great if you uh, include even these appliances. It, the shopping experience would be uh, huge. It would make a great impact. Yes. Uh, so, like, what is your uh, finally? We'll just end up with a couple of questions. So, what is your driving force? Like, when uh, what is your motivation every day? The startup journey is not just easy, right? So, what is your motivation every day uh, to get up yourself and uh, get into the task? So, what's your uh, Motivation every day to get into this. Yeah, so uh, I had a well-paying job, uh, settled in the U.S., all was going well. But I always had a thought that I needed to do something that yeah. can make a difference for the people, impact the society. Yeah, and uh, that's when when I got back, I got very lucky meeting my co-founder mm -hmm. uh, Pradeep Venkatu, who also lives in the same apartment. And uh, when we got together, we thought that this could really make a big impact. Where. Uh, Prismis could become that go-to platform for any user when they want to buy anything online to go and find out what is the best price they can get, which is currently not available anywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's how we we came here. And our motivation has been always to improve every day. We wanted to make sure that this product can deliver a greater value. So we want to um, uh, not only just focus on giving a price. Uh, the best price to the user, but also create financial literacy. Right mm -hmm. today, there could be two types of users who will come to the platform: one who doesn't have credit cards, who right. doesn't have debit cards, and one who has some cards, but the card may not be giving them the best value. Right? Yeah. I have four cards today, of which I use only one. The remaining three are just lying in my so, pocket because somebody sold it to me. I, I didn't realize what the value could be, and I bought it. Yeah. But today, through Prismis, what we are trying to deliver is okay. One part is you are going to save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. The other part is you are also getting a lot of information. Right, now you know right. which is the best car. You are going to create financial literacy. Correct. Well. So what I'm known is like you. It's not just the motivation should be like it's not just the you are making money. You are also uh, creating some change to the society. You are making some impact to the exactly. society. Is what the driving force which you have to have. Exactly. Right? Very well said. Yeah, that's exactly our goal, and that's what keeps us going. I mean, uh, there are a lot of challenges. Startup is not easy, but yeah. uh, I mean, you know, like, what are the biggest mistake you did in your journey, and the struggles which you have faced as a founder and CEO of business in your startup journey? Yeah, yeah. So it is a very the product that we have envisioned is a very complex product. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we have a provisional patent on the algorithm. 
okay. so it is very complex mm -hmm. right it's not easy to replicate okay. now with that complexity comes other challenges as well when we develop a mobile app mm -hmm. the app has to perform really well so we had some challenges with the app uh, sometimes when there are many more users on the app it sometimes uh, crashes easy. or uh, you know becomes slow so we had to tackle those uh, issues right and uh, we have to constantly keep improving. We have to make sure that the app is delivering value. Mm. The information that we are presenting is accurate. And so we constantly have to uh, keep Work. working on it. And those are some of the challenges. So you have to balance between the effort and the cost, okay. right? You have to keep balancing. You cannot say, I'm going to continue to focus on this mm. and throw money at it, right? right? You have to balance it out where you have to decide, okay, do I spend on uh, development or do I spend on marketing? Do I spend on other things? So that's you should where balance it is, everything. Yeah, is balance what everything. You say. Well, even your personal life also, you have to sacrifice exactly. a lot in this. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like you have to completely be into it. You have to live with it. It's not just like you have to, can take a leave on Saturdays right. and you just have to be into it completely. And then you have to work. Yeah. You just have to work. It's not just you're working for it. You just you're living with it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, my wife says that uh, to <laughs> me always. I speak more to my co-founder than to my wife uh, sometimes. <laughs> And that is how the life of a startup founder is. You know, you have to just put your blood, sweat into it. You have to keep uh, focusing on it. And, you know, uh, time will come where you will be you able, will to, be able to, yeah, spend time to spend time with family, friends, everyone. So. Finally, we'll just conclude it with, yeah, what is the advice that you're going to give to the youngsters like us? And also, who want to do a, uh, something impactful to the society, but they don't know where to start and how to start. So, any advice that you could give as a founder and something like this? Yeah, sure. So, based from on your, not just from this, but also from your personal experience as well. You had a, a long, a great yeah. journey, right? Yeah. So, I would say a uh, startup is very similar to planning the journey. Planning a journey to an unknown destination, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you're traveling, you don't know how you're going to get there. You're trying to make plans for how much money you can spend, right. where you want to stay, which mode of transportation you're going to use. Mm. Then along the way, you will have to take help from so many different people, your guides, your friends. friends. You will talk to them and figure out, hey, have you been there? Have you done this? What did you learn? Can you guide me? And you are collecting all that piece of information. You're putting the puzzle together to say, okay, now I have to get to this destination and I have to do these things. There is always unknown, right? You don't know what could happen when you reach the destination, right? right? You go there and something didn't work out well. Your, uh, your uh, taxi did not arrive on time mm -hmm. or you, uh, you, you went to the hotel and there was no food available, something like that, right? But you will figure out, you will plan to overcome those challenges. Okay. So like we have similarly. to just go ahead, start whatever, feel like explore. Yeah. If that thing that doesn't work out, we have to work on the other thing. It's just the right age to explore. When we just experience, then only we'll get to know what just fits for us. Yeah, right. and that's another key thing. You know, when you have the age, when you have the uh, risk-taking appetite, right. and that's it all comes into planning mm -hmm. as well. I mean, I talked about making sure you have the right amount of budget for it. Mm -hmm. You have the right amount of activities. You have the right kind of people on your around side. Us. Around you uh, who can help you Influence. and who can also guide you, right? Uh, but also you need to have the energy because startup journey is all it's like a roller coaster you mm -hmm. can go someday you're up and down out. yeah someday you'll be very down you'll be wondering why am i even doing this but it is that motivation that energy you need to keep having so that you can continue to go forward yeah yeah, yeah. so that is why i would say jump in do some planning you know understand mm -hmm. the problem right if uh, clearly understand the problem talk to customers talk to users and see if the problem is real, if they are really facing it, then uh, get into solution mm -hmm. mode. But in all this entire process, plan it well. Plan your budgets, plan your resources, plan your mm -hmm. activities, plan the people, mm -hmm. plan everything, and then you can get to the destination. Okay, so you as planning is the key is what you say. Exactly. So so yeah, we have got very beautiful and awesome insights from you. It's not just from your this pro pro is best any but also from your personal experience as well so it's great nice speaking to you Mr. yeah thank, thank you, so you much. very much yeah glad to be on uh, startup rails and yeah. uh, i wish you all the best as well yeah. we wish that this prisvis app will be downloaded by a number of people from our apps guys check the description box below we will have the prisvis app link where you can download the app and get maximum benefits from it thank you thank you guys for staying till the end i hope that you have learned something new about a new startup 
earn India. So stay tuned. We'll be coming up with new startup again and we'll learn together. Thanks. Thanks.